Although the rap industry is filled to the brim with successful lyricists, the artists who often find themselves in positions of power are those who have a combative relationship with the law. And this isn't too surprising considering how the industry is still based somewhat on the notion of street cred. More often than not, rappers find themselves participating in criminal activities to solidify themselves as real. Either that or they bring their criminal past with them as they rise to the top. A great example of this is Young Boy Never Broke Again, who after blowing up in 2015 has gone on to experience numerous legal issues resulting in his eventual arrest. But what's the story behind this arrest? And what's happening to him behind bars? Stay tuned to find out. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks. The criminal acts that got in the way. While it started out as nothing more than securing cash to rent a studio, criminal acts slowly but surely became part of the parcel of who the Baton Rouge rapper really was. But this finally caught up to him in November of 2016 when he was arrested for opening a clip up on a group of people walking down South Baton Rouge Street. After being charged with two counts of attempted murder, NBA was found guilty and sentenced to his first stint in prison. After being released in August of 2017, things with Youngboy appeared to be on the mend. But then, in February of 2018, he was arrested once more for violating his probation and assaulting someone. Police also alleged that he had been involved in a kidnapping and various weapons violations, but this didn't stop the court from awarding him bail. Then, in May of 2019, he was involved in yet another shooting in Miami, and while all charges connected to the shooting were withdrawn due to the fact that he was merely defending himself, the company he was keeping at the time violated his parole once more, landing him in further trouble. And last but not least, NBA was sentenced to a further year of probation after a assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Janya Jackson, in a clip that went viral, seriously tainting the rapper's name. Past Controversies Funny enough, this isn't the controversy for which Young Boy Never Broke Again became known in the industry. As we stated earlier, crime and gang violence appears to be all too common in the rap game, with NBA actually receiving quite a bit of buzz after fans discovered that he was leading his own street gang and continuing on with his criminal roots. What the fans couldn't forgive, though, is the blatant disrespect he threw on the name of Nipsey Hussle, though, who's still considered to be one of the most influential rappers of the decade. It all happened back in August of 2019, just a few months after Nipsey Hussle had been murdered in cold blood. DJ Academics had pulled Youngboy aside for an impromptu interview, which was shared on social media, and when asked how he had been impacted by the death of the legendary hip-hop icon, NBA responded as follows, I can't show fake love. I don't know him, but God bless his family. Family, I guess. The short 16-second video quickly started to make its rounds on social media, dividing the fan base into two broad groups. The majority blasted the rapper for throwing disrespect on Nipsey's name, while the other group appreciated his honesty, not having crossed paths with the rapper even once. Considering how the industry missed the fact that NBA was investigated just months later for pistol-whipping a Texas man in a bout of gang violence, it shows what fans of the rap game are really worried about. And it's not like this was a small incident at all. According to TMZ, the man who fell victim to the crime was attending the studio with his girlfriend, but after Youngboy informed him that no women were allowed in the studio, a scuffle broke out. But after the girlfriend left, things got a lot worse for the man, who was apparently jumped by NBA and the rest of his crew. Sources also suggest that the man was beaten with a bag over his head, giving a grim view into what goes down behind the scenes. But simply put, the fans didn't seem to care. The worst crime was him apparently disrespecting someone else with words. That being said, things were about to get a lot worse for him. The case that landed him in FBI custody. You see, the rapper was arrested in March of this year by a task force consisting of FBI agents and members of the LAPD. According to reports, when officers attempted to pull him over, young boy decided to flee in his vehicle, only to hop out a bit later and take off on foot. After the K-9 unit was brought in to track the lyricist, though, he was found hiding out in the area. The reason behind him being pulled over in the first place was the fact that he had an outstanding 
pending federal warrant against him for a prior incident that took place in September of last year. According to the task force, NBA had been one of 16 men arrested that day in an apparent drug operation surrounded by guns, marijuana, hydrocodone, and digital scales. And since the guns in question ranged from common handguns to AK-47s, there was no doubt an example was going to be made of the men. Young Boy was also carrying around $47,000 US dollars on him at the time, which gave off the distinct impression of drug money. Now that the FBI have arrested the Baton Rouge rapper, the rest of his life is pretty up in the air. No charges have been laid just yet, but sources have disclosed that the FBI have enough evidence to convict him on RICO charges, with Youngboy being the leader of the newly formed Never Broke Again gang. If this is true, then NBA could be held liable for all crimes committed by members of his gang on his behalf. There's no doubt that he's going to be put away for a long time. And since the FBI only descends on celebrities when enough evidence has been secured, it sounds like things are pretty much over for the popular rapper. Not to say that he will stop rapping anytime soon, as lyricists in the past have always found a way to release albums while still behind bars. But it does mean that he won't be able to enjoy the benefits of his album sales. As of right now, though, young boy is in FBI custody. The Wellness and Health of NBA Unfortunately for his fans, information about how the rapper is doing in FBI custody custody is very minimal. Just before being taken in, young boy went on to delete all forms of social media and has yet to release a public statement about the situation he currently finds himself in. And when it comes to friends and family, only Yaya Mayweather, the mother of young boy's youngest son, has spoken out about what has happened. In an Instagram story that was posted a few months ago, she said, my day has been completely ruined after sharing a picture of young boy with the free Kentrell hashtag attached. With very little information available, and nowhere to go to discover updates of any kind, the fan base was rocked once more when some fake news began to spread about his well-being. Just a month after he had been arrested by the feds, a screenshot of an apparent news report was shared on Facebook with the caption, The world's biggest artist, NBA Youngboy, whose real name is Kentrell Deshaun Galden, was found dead in his cell earlier today. Speaking on the rumor that was spreading rapidly online was Greg Moreau, the chief legal counsel of St. Martin Parish Correctional Center, who went on to confirm confirm that young boy is, in fact, still alive and well, in the custody of the FBI. But for a second there, fans had the worst of reactions to the news. What do you think is going on in the mind of NBA at the moment, though? Do fans deserve to know more about him and how he's doing? Or do you believe that the rapper deserves a certain amount of privacy? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and comment below who you'd like to see next. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when we upload more content. Thanks!